So this is a request um, on just quickly showing you how to do a rendered image. This is perfect if you want one of your DT students to output an image for using in their end of year portfolio or end of project portfolio. So if you're in a, an assembly, which is what I'm in at the moment, or if you're in a single part, it's exactly the same. Up along your tabs at the top, you have environments. In here, you have a bunch of different areas you can go to. You can do stress analysis, you can do cable and harness, and all that sort of thing. One of them is Inventor Studio. Now, if you go into Inventor Studio, this is basically where you do all your rendered images and your animations. So I'm going to just show you how to do render image. And, of course, when you get more advanced, you can go in here and you can set up your scene styles bit by bit, and you can add in ground planes and change the way the shadows look and all that sort of thing but just as a pretty good get go if you just go render image you actually get a drop down box of all the stuff so in here you've got the width and the height of the image so let's just make it a little bit larger and you've got the anti-aliasing here so because we're only doing a pretty simple one I'm going to change this to the highest so basically this is like where the lines come together you can see here by the preview you've got like the pixels so basically this makes straight edges look straighter uh, you can also tell it in here where you're going to save it, but you can just save it afterwards when you've had a look at it. So you can actually set up cameras, but I, I personally don't see the point if you're doing one single image. You may as well just manipulate the camera now to be where you would like it to be. If you had done an animation and set up 70 cameras and camera 62 is your favourite, then of course you can select it in here. Lighting style, there's a bunch of preset ones here by Inventor. Global lighting is normally quite a good one to show realistic features. You can again set up your own lighting styles in here by adding spotlights, adding sunlight, that sort of thing. You can also change the background. So you can change it to Galaxy Starfield. These are like JPEGs of Starfields and Galaxies, of course. You can change that to be a JPEG of, say, your classroom. But in here you can actually put in reflective ground planes or you can just put in a ground plane. I'm going to use reflective because it kind of gives a nice image. Basically by putting a ground plane it will cast a shadow on there and because I'm using reflective you'll get like a reflection. And that, uh, other than this one here, you can change the illustration so it looks like somebody's illustrated it rather than shaded which is more realistic. But that is pretty much setting up a rendered image. And if I hit render you can see it will go away and it will start to work it out and in a few seconds it will start to build this render and then once we've got it you've got a save button up here in the top right and then of course you can just click save and then it you opens up your normal windows explorer and um, you can go through and save it wherever it is wherever your kids are due to save their stuff or save it to your desktop or something like that so you now see it's starting to build this up and we'll get a preview and that's why i said you, you can stop it halfway through and that sort of thing but once it's done, press save. So you can see where I put that reflected ground plane in. I've got like a, a reflected image of it underneath. And again, it depends how much time you've got. The longer you spend setting up a rendered image, obviously the better it looks. So if you set up all the different scene styles and lighting, then of course it comes out a lot more realistic. But for a, you know, a 30 second setup, I think this is a pretty good rendered image and that essentially is exactly how you make a rendered image if you've got any more questions or you want me to go into setting up scene styles or lighting styles or anything like that then please just leave a comment or give me an email and I'll get to do that. So again, I'm going to save this in here, rendered image. And you can change it here from a bitmap to a JPEG, PNG, all that sort of stuff. And that's it.